I wanted to talk about the Fallout show. You've been. Oh, you did. Yeah, I mean, okay. you've been you've been watching the Fallout show and oh, watched past tense. You watched all yeah, of I'm it because because the whole season came out, right? Yeah. Did it all oh. come out at once? Yeah, they dropped all eight episodes at once. Mm, did not know that. Which is, I think, an interesting way. A binge format. Yeah, that's I think that's how TV is going to go. That's interesting. Well, dude, X Men ninety seven, which I'm watching right now, has been coming out weekly. Really? It's building up a lot of like good discussion. Well, I guess Loki came out weekly too. Yeah, I think I like the. As much as it sucks to wait, I think it's one of those like patience is a virtue thing where I what's, enjoy it. What's the last show, Jordan, you watched that was like a weekly release? Probably Loki. Okay. Yeah. When? How long ago was Loki? Uh, only only start of the winter. Yeah, only a oh, couple okay. months, really. Yeah. Only like right less, around Christmas, I think. Less than six months. Yeah, I think maybe right around Christmas. Yeah, Thanksgiving ish era. Right. That sounds right. Because I, I think mine's The Walking Dead. Wow. Yeah, like wow, like while it was coming out. Walking well, isn't Dead? the like, Walking Dead still technically coming out? Oh, I have no idea. Right. I, I I stopped. I never watched it. So. I stopped watching. So like season, like season two and three, I was really into Walking Dead. I thought it was really good. Mm-hmm. And then Herschel died. I don't know if you follow Walking Dead, but Herschel died, and then that kind of took it out. Thanks, dude. For me, Thanks. way to spoil it. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I won't be watching Walking Dead now. Well, no, no, like he, like no, he he was a really good character. Well, in, I, uh, that show. I will say, um, I, I, what, you, what was that? God, it was my pen. Quit fucking dropping. I thought, pens. A, I thought a bobby pin fell out of your hair. <laughs> well, I did. Well, no, but like with also the way, my pen because you were grabbing your hair, like, <laughs> I was, yeah, I was <laughs> trying to tighten my headphones, oh. and my pen fell out of my hand. But that's that a, I was uh, using to write the script for the show. But that's a uh, oh, there's a script for this thing now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> hey, we're on the radio now. You know, you gotta you gotta follow the <laughs> format. But I. I'm like a, a big fan of if it's a big popular show and yeah. I know I haven't watched it, I'll wait till it's over. Give it time. Let it like <laughs> stew. Let people's opinions stew and let it become irrelevant. And then I'll watch it all. See, I did that with Sopranos. I did that with Game of Thrones. I'm very okay with like, I, and I loved Sopranos and I just watched that. I watched that on the 25th anniversary. So I watched it maybe eight months ago now, something like that. I it's, watched Fallout kind of episodically though. So, like, I didn't, except for, I think, the last four I watched all together. Uh-huh. Just because, like, it, it was rolling at that point. Yeah, sure. But, like, I spaced them out. I watched, like, one episode, then two, then one. That's nice. Yeah. See, I always, I always do, like, Breaking Bad. I have not seen an episode of Breaking <sighs> mm-hmm. Bad. Oh, I see this. Guys, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry to cut you off. What's the last show that you've watched all the way through, Jake? Just cute. <sighs> Porn doesn't count. No. <laughs> it doesn't? It, it might be WandaVision. Mm. So not much of a TV show guy. Well, or at least or at least <clears throat> right now. Right now I'm not. Okay. That's I fair, but usually fair. I am. So like WandaVision sucked me in. I just like the premise of it. I thought that was cool. No, yeah. Um it was, it was a really fun show, I agree. And then yeah, I'm trying to think that one scene where the mom from uh uh that 70s show Hold is on, like stop, is- stop it, stop it. <laughs> Sorry, That's just, really just, scary. just the way you started saying that, I thought you were going to say WandaVision sucked. That's what I thought <laughs> no, you were going to no, say. No, no, that's, no, because I know in the past I've, I've kind of shit on the whole multiverse stuff, but. Oh, it gets overplayed. I, yeah. And so I didn't, you know, I don't want people to be like, well, you said, you know, because that's what popped in my head. But no, WandaVision was really good. I'm trying to think offhand, like what. Uh, 216-859-8699. Make sure you call out Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Swapping sides on the multiverse. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's WandaVision. I that's the one that comes to mind because right. I remember like right. downloading the free trial of Disney Plus so I can watch it all. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, then, what's like a what's like a favorite show of you that uh, like one that you distinctly remember watching and being like, I love all of this show. The Orville. Ooh, explain it. So, Seth MacFarlane. Oh. It's I know. But <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no, no. I, I, it's, he's, a, he's a good, com- like, he, he makes good comedy content. It's like a Star Trek. Oh, the Orville. Yeah. I've, I've yeah. seen like trailers for it and shit. It's okay. very, it's very good. It's got good. the goo guy yeah. in it. Okay. Norm. Norm. Norm was, was the, the goo, goo guy. guy. That's right. Okay. And I had no idea until like three episodes in when the goo guy's there, Seth, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane runs through him and he's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. He's like, ah, yeah, no, don't worry about it. I'm just here. And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> you know, I'm in. but yeah, no, that's, that's a, that's a really good show. I, I have like a season left to watch of that because they, when COVID happened, I think it was COVID and all the budget cuts and everything. That was one of the shows that they were like, eh, we're going to put this one on hold. 
And then Hulu came along, did it for a season. They dedicated that season to Norm. Okay, gotcha. Um, but yeah, I, nice. I was watching the Orville on the plane yesterday. The plane right home. Is is that like? Have you gone back through and watched all of them? <clears throat> I hope they can hear this leaf blower. Yeah, right. it's really going great at time to. This is just like night, this yeah. is just a reminder to make sure that your yard is clean at nine p.m. Is it nine? Just about eight thirty. Yeah. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where but, your father is? <laughs> <laughs> <cutting> the lawn. <laughs> but I I haven't watched. I only watched the Orville through once. But it was it was good enough to like leave an impression on me. Oh, I lied. The last series I watched through was Ted, the Ooh. TV oh, show. Oh yeah, I forgot they made a show. I've heard that, that that was a really good show. They did good. Yeah, I've they, heard that that got like like people were surprised that it exceeded the movie. I yeah, I thought it was going to be really stupid, but mm-hmm. um, no, they no, they do a great job. That's good. Yeah, they do a good job. So yeah, it was Ted, and I did that like. Two days ago, I finished watching that. I was watching in the airport. Hmm. What about you? You ever like watch a show through multiple times? Um, I think like I've tried to like. Okay, I watched BoJack Horseman and I loved it. It really like impacted me. And then I wanted to watch it through again, and I never have. And that's something where I always say like, "Oh, I will watch that show again. I want to watch that show over again." But I never when it's t- when when come time to pick a new show to watch i never think to go back and watch an old show that i've always like yeah well let's find something new well you know? are you not a fan of bojack no really no Interesting. And, and that's the crazy part i think is like, that you would really love BoJack. well that's the thing is everyone always tells me that you gotta like, get through the first season maybe it's the the whole first season feels like family guy and then after that it takes a huge like psych- psychological dip well because it, it looked appealing to me when it came out because like, it's not that old a show i remember seeing yeah, the ads yeah, for yeah. it I'm like, this looks like it's going to be a good show. Mm -hmm. And I sat down and watched like five episodes and I'm like, I don't like this. I'll give you that. Yeah, Yeah, that first season's... So maybe I'll retry it. The Um, first season is tough. The second season is a lot better. I will say that. I've rewatched through My Name is Earl probably 13 times. And that's fair. That's that's probably my favorite show. I fucking love that show. Like from start to end? Yeah, start to end. Really? Probably 13 times. It's only four. Well, it's like three and a half because it got cut. Um, I think it's good good to have a comfort show. Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. Jason Lee was that fan damn Expo. dude. I thought I sent it to you. I don't think like so. three months because ah, maybe. Yeah, I think I sent it to you like three months, mm. like three months ago because I wanted to be in town for that because mm. I wanted to go. I do love Jason Lee. Right, that would he'd be cool to meet. It was him and um, Let's get him on the show. The yeah. dude, the, friend of the show, the guy who lost the all show. the weight. It was his friend. Randy. I don't yes, know his real name. <laughs> I could I couldn't think uh, of his name in the show, but yeah, it was both of them. They were there. Ethan. Ethan. Something. The fat mm-hmm. guy from Hawk Remember Lee the Titans. Something. He lost a bunch of weight. Ethan yeah. Hawk. Not Ethan Hawk. <laughs> also a friend of the show, though. We can get him on. That'd be yeah. one hell of a casting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason Lee and Ethan Hawk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same show. My name's Earl. Just with Ethan Hawk. They're both. They're both Earl. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's. I think it's good to have a comfort show. I think well, so my to... other one's really weird though, because mm-hmm. like my name's Earl's a pretty short. Like you can watch that probably in like two weeks. Um, sure. Because they're like twenty minute episodes, and there's four seasons, and you know they're quick. Mm-hmm. Um. My other one's Breaking Bad, which is eight seasons oh. of hour-long episodes. Wow. I've watched Breaking Bad all the way through probably five times. I think, too, like, you get the, uh, you unlock the achievement after you watch the show all the way through at least once where you don't have to pay attention. Yeah, you, know? you just know what's coming up. Right, you yeah. can kind of just have it on in the background at the very least and then pop in when yeah. you're, like, doing laundry or fucking whatever, you know, like. That's pretty much how I watch Breaking Bad now. Right. I don't know that I have, like, a comfort show. Yeah, no. Do you have a comfort cheese? (laughs) No. Okay. I I had never thought of the idea, but my fiance has, she watches Gilmore Girls and she'll watch it. She's watched it, she said, like 17 times or something. She's watched it a million times. Um, And I I, I never like, I'm again, always watching a new show or always picking something new or I go through a movie phase where I watch a couple movies. But she's like, yeah, no, I, I. during the fall time, I usually put on Gilmore Girls. I watch that. And, like, again, it's one of those things where she just has it on the background. Yeah. Like, it's not necessarily fully paying attention to it. And sometimes not at all. And it's just there for audio. Com- and I'm like, hmm, that's a good, like, I like yeah, that concept. You that's know, that's interesting. It seems nice to have something that you can just put on, not really worry about, yeah. but it keeps, like, I remember in college, I always liked to have the TV on and just, like, play cable and let sure. it. I just always, like, I wasn't paying for the, you know, I, yeah. So put on the cable. Put Which, on. Like, I miss that aesthetic. Just turning on the TV and something is on. Right. Right. And that was that was exactly what I was going for. 
And so I think having something like a comfort show can semi simulate that, you know, it's not, it's going to be the same show. So it's going to yeah. be the same as aesthetic all the time. So like, you're going to have to find a work a way around it, like pick a couple shows mm-hmm. and spin through them. But like, it's still a good, th- I think it would be nice, you know, and I do that with like music and shit. I'll have music on oh, in the background yeah. and that's like a comfort thing. Like I listen to like a hour long, like homework edit of like uh, uh beats like instrumentals and stuff right. like that oh like 3am lo-fi <clears throat> type shit right yeah. exactly um exactly like 3am lo-fi yeah check it on, out on WSR radio check it like out the lo-fi pirate there's a R rating there's a pirate there <laughs> um but like I I that's like a comfort thing for me it's not necessarily a show but like it's the same yeah. concept of I put it on the background and I do whatever I'm doing. I have I have a song that like when I really need to get like things edited, mm-hmm. like audio that I can just faintly hear in my headphones. Oh, really? Um, Home by MGK, the one that like it was the Netflix series song. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. Well, we, we can't play it here for obvious reasons. <laughs> right. <but laughs> look it up and sing it. I, no. Come on. No. Acapella is legal. No, I'm good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but. And it was weird because when I was editing um, a book for someone, it just so happened that like that came on the Spotify and for some reason it was just repeating. I don't know if like my Xbox controller fell and it like hit the yeah. repeat thing. Mm-hmm. It, it, it repeated for like three hours straight and I got so much editing done in that that every time like I really need to edit huh. something, I put that on in the mm. background. I don't know if it's mm. the beat. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But like. You can helps just kind of you just kind of go. Done. You get into uh, a rhythm and it helps you get it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got a similar thing like that. So when I, I I put a wall up in my basement, um, along the far wall, so I could put uh drywall up and and paper and stuff. Um, but while I was doing that, it was just me in the basement, and I'm like, I need some background noise while I'm fucking cutting wood and measuring and shit, so I'm not right. bored out of my mind. So I was watching King of the Hill. That's another one I watched a couple times through. Yeah, but I threw King of the Hill on Hulu, just like a random episode, and that played in the background. And now it's my instinct when, like, I'm in the basement doing a project or something. That's my that's mm, my background. Okay. This is King of the Hill. Okay. So if Jordan's like ever at at your house and you need something done, just put on an episode. Yeah. Of King put on of the, King yeah. of the Hill. Let's start working. Antsy. Yeah. Let's start working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a wall right there. That's gonna be my my uh. What do they call it? Stimulation time. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. I didn't. I. What do you think of the Fallout show though? I didn't. It's even, really good. It's yeah. really fucking good. And and in compared because so for those who don't know. Jordan, huge Fallout fan. Have you played all of them? New Vegas was your favorite? Uh, no, 3 was my favorite. Okay. I started with 3. I played 3 New Vegas, 4, 76 all the way through. Uh-huh. I've played a little bit of 1 and 2. but Aren't like, those like completely different games, though? It's the same story. It's uh-huh. the, it, it is canon, and it, it works along with it. It's just... They're old and they're top down. I know oh. there's a lot of like, yeah. I was gonna say, isn't, that, isn't it stylistically? Yeah. Doesn't it look different and play different? Yeah, yeah it's okay. not a bad That's game by any means. It's still fun. It's just right. going from one to the other is a big jump. And right. You have to prepare for it. Right. Um. Yeah. So, but very good. Honest to the show. True. Oh, dude, it's it's crazy. So like they they go in depth. Like uh-huh. they don't use they don't smoke a cigarette that's not in the game. Like hmm. to that level of detail. Like they, cool. they show the vaults and they're laid out the exact floor plan they were in the game. Right. Like that's pretty nice. That's pretty yeah. sweet. So like you explore enough vaults in the game, you know where the fucking rooms are. Yeah. You right. know, generally. Right. Like you can tell when they're walking through the vaults that they have the same layout in the show. That's cool. Yeah. That's like nice. they there was a lot of detail. Like things that were so minor they didn't need to. All the cars have the emblem swapped off them to the game brand cars that's that they're cool. the fake companies. That's cool. Um, like I said, there's a pack of cigarettes in one scene. It's the pack of cigarettes from the game. That's, like it's it's yeah. a lot of attention to detail. They really didn't probably have to do that much, and fans would have been happy. Mm-hmm. But like they went above and beyond, and it's canon. Like it, it directly references the first two games. That's cool. Um, it's 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 solid. Yeah. It's solid. Wow. And it expands the timeline because it is canon in the universe. Right, right, right. Because I know, <clears throat> like when it comes to video game adaptation. TV shows and movies and stuff like that. It could be super hit or miss. Talking about John Halo. Yeah, talking about John Halo. Talking about the Assassin's Creed movie. Oh yeah. Talking about Doom. Yeah, yeah with Dwayne the Rock Doom Johnson with the Scorpion King himself. It wasn't Dwayne that boss. took that movie down. No, the movie sucked. In it was Channing yeah, Tatum. The movie took that. No, no, the movie took down the yeah, movie. Yeah, the movie took itself down. That was just a bad movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know it could be very hit or miss. So I was very hope, and I know that you can be very critical of the video game adaptation <laughs> thing. So I I was very especially when it's something that you do care about. Yeah. And I know that you do care about Fallout. So I was just like, 
I was really hoping that it worked out because it. Oh, it's it, fantastic. I know it's like a near and dear game, and I was just hoping that the show would be good. So I'm glad to hear that it is good. Yeah, and no, that's on Hulu, right? Uh, yeah. It's on Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Fucking Zuck. The Zuck. And, and it's funny. So, my, no, uh, that's not the Zuck, is it? No, that's. Um, <laughs> Bezos. Bezos. I don't fucking know my But all, all three of us went with it. Yeah, no, I don't know my billionaire. You were like, oh, that fucking billionaire. They're wrong the, they're billionaire. The guy. They're the same guy. Yeah, fuck the, fuck the billionaires. Billionaires club. In total, fuck the billionaires. <laughs> but no, yeah. really fucking good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I would, and I think it's laid out in such a way that like, if you're a fan of the series, you'll notice all the little niche, like there's certain weapons they'll just use and they don't talk about them. They're just in the background. Right, right, right. They're like, oh shit, that's the junk jet or whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's laid out in such a way where if you're a fan of the series, you'll pick up on those little things. Mm-hmm. But I feel like anyone could sit down and get a general understanding of what's going on in the universe. Mm-hmm. Right. On, like, on like a scale of like one to 10, like 10 being like Breaking Bad good. Where would you put it? Probably like a 9.5, 10. Wow. Yeah, no, it's, it's up there, man. I, I mean, again, it's only eight episodes. Right. Um, so Do you know, is it getting a season two? They're greenlit for season two. The That's California nice. Film Commission gave them like $200,000 already for sick. season two. Sick, sick, so sick. yeah, they're they're rolling Damn. with it. Damn, okay. Um, That's awesome. And they leave it on a cliffhanger that, That's again, good. directly That's references a game. That's so fun. like, I, I, it's, it's, we'll see you in season two if it holds up. Right. But so far, I mean, I've got... Damn near no fucking complaints with it. Right. Wow. There's uh there's only a handful of things watching it that I was like, oh, that's not lore accurate. But even though it's not, it's still met. so uh the one of the early episodes, um, they're in the vault and they have a tranquilizer gun. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing that's ever in the game, but they use a gun called a syringer in the game. That's basically the same fucking thing. Mm. So I'm like, all right, that's an inconsistency, but it's such a fucking minor hair display. Right, 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 like, right. There's that and there's one other thing that's not explained and Fair yeah, yeah, that's, right. that's literally it. Things, yeah, yeah, but for eight episodes, and they're seventy-five minute episodes, I think. A piece. Wow, wow. So like, yeah, no, it's it's solid. It's really fucking good. Yeah, and I, I awesome. heard someone explain the other day because there's three main characters, mm-hmm. and I heard someone explain the other day because they were talking about video game adaptations not living up to you know mm-hmm. being able to recreate you playing through a game essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, and the way that they explained it, I thought was really well because it's like having the three different characters and having it jump between them, but somehow tie into the main story. Mm-hmm is very much like you're playing a game and you're choosing your own paths, which is the uh, whole point of Fallout. Uh-huh. So like you could maybe sympathize with the vault dweller if you're going for like a speech playthrough or a power armor playthrough or right. you know, what that's, have you. I see that. That's interesting. And I think that's a really good analogy. Yeah, that's cool. Where did you can I where where did you read that? Uh some video essay. Oh, I, okay. I, uh, okay. It might have been Screen Crush actually. I watched Screen Crush. Yeah. Could have been, not sure. I was just wondering because I was going to ask now too. This is kind of segueing something different, but you're using. I'm noticing you're using Reddit a lot more. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you think of it? I'm probably hooked on Reddit more than okay. I should be. Okay. I'm still not like diehard Reddit guy. Uh huh. Um, what was that? I just imagined you diehard Reddit guy, like the typical redditor. You're just going to be like, oh well, actually, uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dude, Tips I'm almost there, man. I'm almost there. <laughs> well, I, I think the thing with Reddit is like, so I've had one for a long time. I just, even when, you know, I made the show Reddit, I told you, I'm like, I don't really fucking go on it. Right. I go out to promote shit and that's about it, which is not, you know, really the platform you do it on. Right. Um, But I think it's more so just like, I go on Facebook just to look at memes of groups I'm in. Right. I used to do the same thing for Instagram, but Instagram's so bogged down with ads and porn and mm-hmm. other shit that I don't care about. Right. Like, I rarely am on Instagram unless I'm posting. Right. I hate Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in forever. Yeah. Um, And, like, Snapchat, Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm like, if I want fill of things that I actually care about, I guess I'll read it on Reddit. So, I can go on and be like, oh, I wonder what's going on in Fortnite, or I wonder if there's anything new in the 2K game, things mm-hmm. like that. Right. Mm-hmm. So, it's like... And I'm, I'm sure you said this to me a long time ago, but it's like a more direct news feed of yeah, things I actually yeah, yeah. care about. Yeah. And very rarely do you get like recommended shit on yeah. Reddit. Yeah. I was just wondering because I, I feel like I've seen you use it a little bit more and it's just interesting because I know that it feels like a very uh, daunting social media to use. And I'm not normally someone to be like, I use social media. I like, I, let me post on this. Let me scroll through my feed of this you know that's not the kind of person i am right um so it is a weird one to use yeah i was just curious how it's you're using it now so yeah i don't know i think it's uh that and discord are both like odd social medias 
Because, like, Discord's, I mean, it's just a chat site, essentially, mm-hmm. but you can do other shit on it. But, like, I feel like we use Discord a lot now, too, just because, like, yeah. we'll fucking talk on it because it's compatible with Xbox, or yeah. right. we'll send fucking memes in it, or we have the Styles Rubber Radio one. So, like, I don't know. I, those are probably the two I use most, and I probably didn't use them at all two years ago. Yeah. Well, cool. That's, uh, we're talking about, we're talking about that. <laughs> we're done talking about that now, so... Talk about other things. You listen to off air for the segues, folks. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to talk about this on the show, and then we never got to it. But the manhole cover thing, it's kind of cool. There's a manhole cover in space, Jake. Okay. Um, Robert Brownlee was the guy who was testing nuclear bombs in the, the 50s and 60s, whatever, when they were testing nukes. Right? The diabetes guy? <clears throat> Maybe. I have no idea. Wait, what? What what did you say the name was? Robert Brownlee. Okay, it's not like you said Robert Bremley. I was like, that's the dab that's diabetes. What a hell of a coincidence. That's, that <laughs> that's why I was like, wait a second, I thought he was an actor. It did, did not succeed in nuclear bombs. <laughs> right. So he became an actor. Yeah. That's what oh. you gotta do sometimes. But so he he uh he was testing nukes. He was the first person to test it. So the first ever nuke to be tested. <clears throat> They they bury them seventeen feet underground because they don't know what a nuke is and how how big the detonation is going to be. It goes eleven thousand feet above it, and the mushroom cloud is eleven thousand feet there. They totally huge. Well, they they over, took away seventeen of it, so give huge them some credit. oversight, right, huge oversight. Right. But the first nuke is called Uncle, and I think that that's a funny name for uh, the first ever nuke. Well, hey, I was going to bring this up too. Uh-huh. So that the first ever nuke is called Uncle. Uh-huh. Do you know what the two nukes we dropped on Japan were called? Uh, fat boy and little little man. Yeah, fat boy and little man. Yeah, I yeah. think those are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I think I think just the concept of naming the nuke. I mean, yeah, you probably should if you make something like that. You probably name I, it. I mean, I'd name my nuke. Right, right, right. I would name my nuke too. But it's just funny that it was yep. called Uncle. Um, but so he they test it and they're like, oh damn, that's like a that's a really big ass explosion. Like that worked. That that worked very well. Like let's what else could we do with this? Yeah. And so on the second nuke test. They they dig it. They dig the nuke, bury it. They put a manhole cover on the ground, <laughs> and then they detonate the nuke yeah. and they launch the manhole yeah. cover into space. <laughs> and so it is the fastest. Of ob- they do. <laughs> is the first object to ever be launched into space, and it is the fastest object ever to be launched into space because there is. A, and I can't I can't cite this, but I read it. Um, that. They were like researching this afterwards. They were looking into the the original testing of nukes afterwards, and a, a scientist looking into it surmised that the manhole cover would have been going too fast to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, so it likely just launched into space. And I think that's really interesting. I had to yeah. fact check it just because being the first <gasps> object in space sounds a little wild. Right now, you're yeah, no, you're fucking right. 1945, they tested that. Isn't that crazy? 1957 was the first space exploration thing. Isn't that fucking crazy? And that was in Russia. A manhole, like a sewer, a sewer manhole cover. There's Ninja Turtles in space. There's Ninja Turtles in fucking space. And okay, so I'll give you the backstory to the lore of how I found it. I was scrolling through. There's a subreddit called uh, Peter Explain the Joke, and everybody pretends to be Peter Griffin and explains the meme. And it's this picture that says it's it's a. It's someone from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs making an O face. And the caption says, Some advanced alien race in 2014 or 2,490 light years away, uh, helplessly watching as a 2,000 pound manhole cover enters their atmosphere at, at mock fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, What does that mean? How do, how, what is that? How do you explain that? And I looked into it. There's got to be so much shit in space. Uh, some of it just fell down. Someone's house in Florida just had a fucking That's piece right. of metal fly through it, and it's That's trash right. from the International Space Station. Yeah, because like, and, and also, goddamn you, space trash. Like, you have to realize, <laughs> That's my band, dude. Every <laughs> time they put a new satellite up there, and they stop using the other one, yeah, they don't bring the other one back down. Yeah, they just, no, they just, just leave wasting money. There. Yeah, like, yeah, there's so much Earth stuff up in space. That's probably just Garbo. Garbo. How much, Garbo how much tech. Earth is in space? Is the real question. A lot. Not how much. Technically, the entire thing's in space, Whoa. man. All right, Tommy Chong. The preceding program is a Styles Rebel Radio.com production.